guys and welcome back to another action-packed mini episode of Kapow Comic Book Show exclusive to sftv.com.au. I'm Sonia. And I'm Al. And you know what? You are right about this being an action-packed episode. We're reviewing issue one of The Green Team, which is a new series from DC, and issue one of a new series from IDW called Half Past Danger which may be the greatest title I have ever heard. Well, it's certainly up there for me, I think. But let's start with the green team, Teen Trillionaires. Mm, Why not? (laughs) Now, this is an interesting title, if only because it works as a kind of a sister series to The Movement, Mm. which we uh, reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, now, if you remember, The Movement focuses around a group of teen superheroes who fight for the rights of the disadvantaged. In the green team, we jump to the other end of the scale with a group of teens who are only out for themselves, and they are anything but disadvantaged. Advantaged. Which is anything but compelling in terms of character. I mean, while street kids with superpowers trying to save their community is quite accessible, incredibly ridiculously rich kids buying superpowers because they're bored is unlikely to produce much more than scorn. That was my reaction, at least. Well, it might be a slightly strong reaction. Look, I do agree that these characters do come off as quite shallow in this first issue, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to continue, and I do think their motivations will develop through the series. Writers Art Balthazar and Franco are almost certainly building up to something, and with the class war theme being introduced by the arrival of an activist group that call themselves the Riot Act, you can tell that the selfishness of these one percenters is going to be challenged. Well, I'm unlikely to stick around and find out, (laughs) honestly. I mean, look, this is not badly written, and certainly Iguara's artwork is very decent, Mm. if a bit conventional, but essentially, these kids are not Bruce Wayne. They're not Tony Stark, and I'm just not going to stick around to see if they have a sudden shakabuku that turns them into philanthropists, (laughs) because the concept just did not grab me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a berry. A rough call. Look, personally, I did find enough in this first issue to be interested in, at least to get me through the next couple of issues. Mm. For nothing else, I want to see how it kind of stacks up against the movement. Mm. I'm going to give this one a borrow. Mm. But let's move on to Half Past Danger. Ah, With pleasure. (laughs) Now, I've got to say from the start, this one reminded me of the old boys own adventure Mm -hmm. stories a small group of soldiers being led by staff sergeant tommy irish flynn skirt their way around a nazi base in an effort to get intel back to hq then they get attacked by dinosaurs which is highly unexpected or at least it would be if you didn't read the blurb on the back of the comic or watch this review but it's on the back of the comic so we're not spoiling (laughs) anything now normally we'd like to talk a bit more about the story before we get onto the art but how good do those dinosaurs look oh they are extremely cool I like the art overall. There's this really crisp style being used that really brought me into the action. Well, Stephen Mooney writes and also does the art for this title, and I agree, he does have a great ability to throw the action into your face. In most cases, the backgrounds are a bit blank, but that somehow works with the style of the story. When you're falling from a tree while shooting at a T-Rex or getting thrown through a window in a pub brawl, who really cares about the background? Not me. Look, I enjoyed every page of this comic. It's so much fun, and the title tells you exactly what you're going to get. Adventure writ large, (laughs) with plenty of blood, explosions, and dry one-liners from a tough Irish soldier with a drinking problem. I mean, call this a massive buy from me. Awesome. And besides that wisecracking Irishman, we have a karate expert in a white suit, a hardcore woman from the British intelligence services, and a guy who appears to be an American super soldier all showing up right near the end. I love this comic's commitment to big, bombastic, tongue-in-cheek entertainment. It was hilarious, and it's definitely a buy from me as well. Excellent. So (laughs) with that, we wrap up another mini episode of Kapow. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to jump on over to our channel at youtube.com slash kapowcomicbookshow, where this week we're having a look at comics for younger readers. Indeed we are. So until next week, guys, bye. bye.